Hey everyone, it's Emily. I hope you're all having a beautiful day so far. Today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 IKEA organization ideas for your closet. It took me four and a half hours today to declutter and organize my closet. It looks so much better. It's functional. It's pretty. And I got rid of a ton of things that I was not using. So hopefully you find today's help video helpful and motivating for you to tackle an area of your home as well. And a lot of the IKEA uh, products I'm sharing with you today are very functional and you can use them throughout your house. So just get creative with them. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and hit that subscribe button. And with that, let's go ahead and get started decluttering, organizing my closet. So here's an overview of how the closet is currently looking. It has a lot in it, and so I need to downsize quite a bit. When we moved in, we left the closets blank. I had a whole plan for this room, um, but because of certain access points and things like that, I couldn't do exactly what I wanted. So that is okay. We're improvised and it's just what it is. I just kind of put everything in there and I haven't organized it since. So we're going to get started with that right now. So the first set of organization bins are the stubbed ones. It comes in a six pack. It's a great value. They come in gray and white and you can rearrange them in the drawers and really make the drawers flow really nicely. And they fit for different items as well. You don't just have to use this for your closet. You can use it for your office as well. And I'm going to start sorting everything through. Um, I ended up doing it a couple different times to see what I liked in each bin better. Before I show you the organized drawers, we're going to keep organizing and I'm using these stuck bins. They're very similar to the stub ones, um, but there's a couple different sizes and depths to them as well, which is really nice and a couple different heights. And then they just slide right in and it makes it so it's not collapsible anymore. So I decided to take some of the items I put in the stub ones and put them in this one and then just rearrange it as I kind of go here. So that I get from you. You'll have to let me know if you own any of these organization products and how you utilize them to organize your home. Let me know down in the comments. So I ended up organizing each drawer the way I had it kind of before, um, but just now everything is organized into bins and I love the way it looks. Everything has a spot, which is really nice and it'll help me stay tidy. The second drawer, I put all my personal items in there and sleepwear items. And I'm so happy everything has a compartment now because it really does make it flow so much better. So these dressers are from Ikea and we got them two years ago and I really, really like them. I think they're a great value. They actually have, I think, three or four different styles in them, um, ones with more drawers and less drawers. So it can really customize your closet with those. So I started putting all of my sweaters into the bin, but then I realized I had a little bit too many and I thought there's probably a better spot for those. So to utilize the bin better, I decided to put my workout pants and lounge pants in them and then put my jeans in a separate area. You know that I'm a keep it cool with you. I feel a breaking rules on the edge looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Any other time that I have decluttered my closet, I've always taken everything out of it, but this time I didn't want to be so overwhelmed with it, so I decided to just take little areas at a time and work on those, and that worked out best for me. So do what works best for you. I'm still seeing all my inventory, just at a slower pace, if that makes sense. So for the third drawer, I put lounge pants and then my uh, fleece leggings and then extra socks and extra leggings here on the side so I can see what I have when the other ones wear out. And then on the bottom drawer, I put all my workout pants lined up here, folded, and then my workout shorts. Then I have a couple workout tops and then a couple extra sweaters there in the back. Mm -hmm. 
The next Ikea item I use to organize my closet is the Billy Bookcase. This is the shorter style. They have a lot of different ones that you can choose from so they can have something that meets your needs. I decided to fold my jeans and be able to access them daily. So I folded the foot area to the crotch and then folded that leg area and then folded the pocket over, which works really nicely. As you can see, they fit nicely on there and I can see the pocket style, which lets me know which style of jean they are. And I decided to organize them by the color of the jean that I pull to the most. So I know that it's not fading up quite the same, but I pull the lighter ones less often. And then I decided to fold my, um, sweaters and put those on the shelf as well because I pull on those every single day and instead of having the hangers pull on them and stretch them, pulling them just made it that much better and I like having them as easy access. And the Billy bookcase fits the dresser so nicely. So now I'm going to be utilizing the garment bags that IKEA carries. These come in a three pack for $10. They actually came out with another style that I didn't see in store when I was there, but um, these work great. There's two different sizes in them and they're great for dresses, but also for suits and things like that. And I liked how I can fit at least three to eight items per bag, which is really nice. You can stuff them pretty much as wherever you want, but I put all my dresses pretty much in three bags and I just left my day dresses out. But the nicer ones, I wanted to make sure that those were protected because I don't wear them as often. So now I'm going through all of the hanging clothes and just taking out any items that I have not been wearing and that I don't want to wear anymore. And then I'm going to start sorting them by color for that particular category and moving the uh, short sleeves to the top and the long sleeves to the bottom. And then at the end I actually reverse it. But. So this is actually not from Ikea, but it's from Dollar Tree and it's this really cool hanger that has five rings on it and four hooks. So you can put belts, scarves, lots of different items in it and hang that up and it takes up a lot less space. I wanted to show you that. I got that a couple years ago and I really love it. You'll notice that there are two different styles of hangers and that's okay with me. I like the fabric for certain shirts and then the plastic ones for other shirts. I like the ease of it and it's just what suits me. So do it wherever works best for you, but I'm okay having my hangers mixed. I know it's not the most visually pleasing, but I want function and ease when it comes to my closet. It probably didn't look like I was getting rid of that much as I was taking it out, but this is everything that I am not keeping. So I think I did really well. So now I'm just trying to fold it and organize it. I shared this bin back in January for home organization ideas and I used it for ties and also ornaments, but I'm going to use it today for my belts. I like this because it's fabric on the outside, so it looks really nice, but the bamboo keeps the structure of it so you can actually stack them. They come in a couple different sizes um, and it's not going to get murky like the plastic bin does. So I really like these. I think it's a nice way to organize a lot of the items in your home. I really like these white containers from Ikea. They are stackable, they come with lids, and so they will keep things dust free but very organized at the same time. You can use these in your office, in the pantry, pretty much anywhere, even in your bathroom. They are really nice and versatile. I decided to use a larger one for my slips, things that I don't use as often, and then the smaller ones I utilize for my smaller purses. That way I can stack them all together on the Billy bookcase and it just looks so nice and aesthetically pleasing and everything has a spot and it's easy to access.
The upper part of the closet was just kind of holding a lot of odds and ends of items. A lot of the boxes were empty um, and just items that I don't use as often. Um, this purse I love, but I don't really use it as much anymore. I use a shoulder strap and it has a stain on it, so it's just kind of time for it to go. The box over there in the corner, that has all my other shoes that I have not gotten out since we moved. Um, so I just decided I'm going to be ruthless here and get rid of items that I have not been using and that is okay. I've had a lot of these items for many years. They served their purpose, but now it's time to let them go and somebody else to enjoy them. So here's another one of those stuck organization bins, but this one has a zipper on top. They have a few different styles that you can choose from as well, and also other um, clothing bins. So Ikea has a lot of options, but I decided to use this for shoe storage. I originally wanted to get these other organization bins, but they were out of all the white ones. They only had gray, and I wanted to keep it very light and neutral here in the closet. So I put all of my summer shoes that I only wear for a few months out of the year in this bin and I thought this was perfect because I'm not going to wear these in the winter time and if I need them I can easily access them and then the other bin I um, decided to put all of my summer clothing in there mainly shorts and swimsuits that I don't reach for short sleeves I will still wear so those are out in the closet but there's really no use of putting these items in drawers or hanging them up because I don't use them very often. So I could stack these. They look so nice into the closet. They're side by side now, but I ended up stacking them. And then I took two other bins and put my workout clothes in them for outside. The clothes that I paint and do a lot of projects in, those are in those. And for sh uh, shoes, I decided to use these trays. I picked up a couple of these. They're great for as a, in the mud room um, and everything, but I like the fact that the bottom of the shoes are dirty. They're not getting all over the carpet or the shelving. So that's a great way to utilize that. They also have these bins at Ikea, the scub ones. They have these in various different sizes as well. And you can use these for a lot of different items, um, but I wanted to show you, you can use it actually for shoes. So especially for boots that are a lot longer Longer. You can strap them in, you can put smaller pairs of shoes in there. So you can really get creative with the IKEA organization um, bins that they have. There's so many options. Here is the pile of all the items that I ended up getting rid of. I have a huge pile of trash, a couple items that have holes, those are going in the trash. And then I have a couple bins that I emptied. And then this is all the items I'm gonna be donating. I might sell them, I'm not sure. I just kinda of wanna get them out of the house, so I'll probably just donate them. But it feels good to have everything organized and color matched. It just looks so aesthetically pleasing. It's nice, I know exactly where everything is. I hope today's video gave you lots of ideas on ways you can organize your home on a budget. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful and motivating, give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and hit that subscribe button. I will have more organization and decluttering videos here on my channel linked in the description box below and here on the screen. I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next one.